Hey guys, um, this is gonna be a review on the Rubik's Mirror Box. As you can see, I have four of them, and I'm gonna be saying uh, the cool things about them, and where to get them, and who you shouldn't get them from, and like all the cool things about them, stuff like that. Uh, so they come in two different colors, gold and silver. Well, actually they come in black, but the stickers come in either gold or silver. And the cube was originally invented by, um, sorry if I'm mispronouncing this, but I think it's Hezatashi, and I can't even think of how to pronounce his last name. And, uh, it was originally called the Bump Cube, because the layers are, like, bumped up, like, this is lower, and this layer is, like, thicker. And I think that's why he called it the Bump Cube. And then, not too long ago, um, he, um, mass-produced them. And they were re-advertised as the Rubik's Mirror Box, as you can see, because it's a shiny surface. Like, there's a camera. You can see it through here. Um, same exact, sorry. Uh, same exact size as Rubik's 3x3. And something you notice about this is if they're all the same color, well, how would you solve it? Because on a 3x3, they have different colors. But on the bump cube, or the mirror box, um, it's a shape-shifting puzzle. It's a 3x3 three three in the inside, but it it's shape-shifting, and you solve it by the shape. Like, this is what checkered would look like. It's kind of crazy. So you solve it by the shape and not the um, color. So... Um, I have two of them, um, a silver one signed by Hezatashi, a uh, gold one signed by Hezatashi, oh, and if you forgot, um, that's the original creator, that's his signature, Hezatashi, Hezatashi's signature, um, and a gold one, not signed, and a silver one, not signed, um, and I'm gonna explain why I got these. Um, like, my first set, I didn't get at all, because I ordered, um, a void cube, um, and, uh, two mirror blocks from, um, eBay, from, his username was Ninja Ninja, and I do not recommend buying from him at all, because my void cube didn't come at all, and both of my mirror blocks came all destroyed, and... I, so I didn't get, like, anything out of that, and I couldn't, well, I wasn't used to getting scammed, so I couldn't, like, get my money back through PayPal, and, well, it's a long story, so, anyway, don't buy from Ninja Ninja from eBay, don't buy from him at all, uh, these two, uh, I just got them from some random person on eBay, after I got gypped out of that deal, and then, the signed ones, the way I got these, is on the Twisty Puzzles forum, um, Hezatashi has an account. So, I told him my story, and he's, and I asked if I could buy it from him instead, directly from him. And he said it's a shame that something like that would happen, and so I, I bought them from him. And uh, the first thing that turned me on was, like, they were a lot cheaper buying them from him than they were on eBay. Like, and, oh, I wanted to buy them from him. Well, first of all, I wanted to buy them from him because I wanted them signed. And, uh, after that, I found out they were cheaper, so I thought, that's good, too. 
And then he told me that I could pay after after he sent them to me. He said um, that he would send them to me, and after that I'm satisfied with them, then I would pay. Now that, I, I was just so happy when he said that. That was just so nice of him to do that. And, um, so then he, F, I asked for the regular airmail shipping, and it was $10. And then, when I got them, about, like, like, three days later, and then I was like, and then on the package, it said EMS. So I was like, what happened? I thought I asked for the airmail. So I contacted his Hitachi, telling him, what happened and then he said oh yeah you did order airmail but I decided to give you the EMS and that he would pay the, dif the difference so I thought that was just the best like I don't know m maybe the best customer service I've had for a while because after dealing with Ninja Ninja I wasn't too happy and that was just so nice of him and if you're watching this video, Hisatashi, thank you again. And so yeah. Um the ones that I got from Hisatashi, uh this one's signs. You can kinda of feel the paint or whatever they use in Hong Kong. Um, you can kinda of feel the texture. And you can see that like both of the signatures are like a little off so like you can tell that they're not just a generic like just like not printed on or anything so um it turns pretty well you can you can cut corners okay gold one the same maybe a little better Yeah, the gold one is just slightly better. And uh, out of out of the ones that I got from eBay, uh, the golden one, it was really stiff when I first got it, like so stiff, like I can move it, but it was really stiff. And it's still kind of stiff now, but not nearly as stiff as it was before. And this one, it turns really good. I can finger roll it sometimes. Um, the corners, but it does lock up sometimes from trying to speed sell it. And, oh, um, and the QB size. I want to go over this. Okay, let's look at the key, the size of a QB, the internal for a regular three by three, and then a mirror box. Sorry, and then for a keychain cube. Now I don't think you can see this, but the internal part is a little smaller on the bump cube than it is on the Rubik's Cube 3 but it's bigger than it is on the keychain cube and as for the corner uh, same thing so uh, my original plan of what I wanted to do is to cast one and um, in white aluminum light resin so I would have a white bump cube, but um, after getting these and assembling them, I realized you couldn't do that because the cubies aren't compatible. So, so um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But this is still a really cool puzzle. Um, one more size comparison. Same size as Rubik's Cube by 3 um, that's just a keychain cube next to it. 
and I'm gonna do a scramble really, scramble really quick just to show how crazy the shape can get. So you can see that the shape gets really crazy. And this video is going to be really long. Uh, this is my mirror box review. And the, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. See you next time.